Okay, uh, this last video is going to be uh, creating a zip file from your project index. And uh, um, since I filled out these things earlier, uh, they already are filled out, but you will want to make sure that you have your um, project folder selected here and also your project index file selected here. Okay, um, now you notice in the create zip file, you also get uh, two more options, one for the pin number and one for the main counting. Um, this is uh, to ensure that the zip file is named correctly. So it follows all the other naming conventions for submitting files. Main county dash pid dash, we'll say cad dot zip would be the ending part of it. Um, so when I hit create zip file, it uses this to um, name the zip file. Um, and I forgot to mention when you select a project folder, um, it will take attempt to find the PID from the folder name, and then it will actually hit Tim's um, behind the scenes to get the um, PID in main county, um, but it would be listed in PIN and Tim's. So it does attempt to fill out this automatically, um, but for me it didn't because um, there's no zero 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 PID. Um, so I will attempt to fill that out. If not, you can just type it in. Right. And then now I'm going to hit create zip file. And so it will um, open up your your project index file if it isn't already open. Loop through everything that's listed there and then go and, and find it in your project folder and add it to a zip file. Uh, if you're in project wise, it will then add to add that zip file into project wise. Um, if it cannot find a file, it will tell you at the end all the files it could not find. Okay. Um, so it should be fairly close to being done. If um, you have already have a zip file, um, and so here at the end it says zip file created and saved to the project project admin plan package folder following files listed in the next were not found in so nothing's listed that means it found all of them okay so i'll hit ok and process complete all right so if i just jump over to, to uh, my project wise um, i'll just refresh this folder um, and i was messing around with this earlier but what we typed in was this one and you see it is now there if I were to run this again and I had the same county and PID listed, um, you will get an error message um, at the end saying that it could not uh, actually put the zip file in ProjectWise. Um, and then it says make sure you don't already have one there, name that. So it will not override it. You'll have to um, delete this one and rerun it. But the zip file will still be created. It just won't be added into um, ProjectWise and uh, it'll tell you where it's saved locally. Um, so you could then take that zip file and throw it in into ProjectWise uh, if you wanted to. Um, so that's how this works. Um, so uh, again, you would um, submit this zip file. It should contain all your reference files um, along with all other you know, needed things like the index, uh, the general summary and all that. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, this tutorial video series uh, was helpful. If you guys notice anything that uh, isn't working or you would like to suggest enhancements, feel free to contact me.